Okay, so I'm gonna use the LA Girl Pro Concealer in the color orange just to color correct my darkness under my eyes. I have some acne scars. I have hyperpigmentation around my mouth, so I'm gonna do all of that. Um, but yeah, so basically, 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 I forgot what I was gonna say. I honestly did. Forgot. I forgot. Gosh. Okay, so yeah, so I've been meal prepping and that has really helped me out a lot. Um, overall, I would say my like eating habits have changed. Like the way I, I used to eat fast food all the time because I hate, like I didn't have time to cook so it was just easy and I've really stopped that. I mean, I'm not gonna say I don't eat fast food at all. I don't eat out occasionally. Occasionally I do, maybe once a week you know, or on the weekend, you know, or something like that. But I was doing it like almost every day. And also I work at a job where I sit all day in front of a computer. So, and they have all these snacks there and they're always feeding us stuff. And it's just so easy to get caught up in that, you know, just eating because you're just sitting there or just eating, like eating when you're hungry, but like eating, not making good eating decisions. So meal prepping has actually really helped me out with that. Um, yeah, like that's basically what I've been doing. But yeah, me and my mom just joined a gym. I'm actually super excited about it because I'm trying to get back on track. My, my issue has always been consistency. I'm not consistent. I'll start something and I'll do good for like two, three weeks. And then it's like, Something happens and I'm just all over the place. Oh, I didn't mean to do foundation yet. Oh, see, I don't know if I can do talk throughs. I talk too much and I can't focus. Shape Tip Concealer in the shade Deep. And I just, you know, got them bad dark circles. So try to camouflage that. But yeah, um, so I'm really excited to start working out in a gym. The whole reason why I had it, like everyone's been telling me like, just go to the gym. Man. Like uh, people have like offered to help me and stuff. And I'm just like, I think I was just so embarrassed of how big I was. Like I just, I'm not used to it. I'm not used to being this size. And so I was so embarrassed and I was just like, I don't want to be in a gym. like. I don't, I don't want to be seen. I don't want anybody to see me. But I had to get over that real quick. It's just like, girl, you gain the weight. Now, if you're not comfortable with it and it's not healthy, then do something about it and quit complaining and quit crying. And while you're this size, just embrace it. Love yourself. Like that's the biggest thing that I learned through going through this. I'm still going through it because I, uh, I ain't skinty yet. But trust me, I will get back to where I used to be, because this is not what I want to be. Um, oh yeah, now I'm using my foundation. It's the Estee Lauder Double Wear Foundation in the shade Amber Honey. And I really love this foundation. It doesn't transfer. Like every other foundation I've worn has transferred. Like if I touch my face, if I touch my pillow, if I touch something, but this one doesn't I'm not saying it doesn't transfer at all, but it's definitely not near as bad as those other ones were. Dropped 10 pounds overall since March, and I just pray that I can continue on and no matter, you know, and I have to realize this is my journey. I just feel like, so I moved back home because a lot of, I don't talk to a lot of people about this. A lot of people don't know what happened, um, but in a nutshell, I just was not happy in general. I was not happy. I had just graduated. I did an internship. Internship went great. And then I interviewed and got a management position, which was cool. Like I was very excited and 
But when I got there, after a while, I just realized it wasn't for me. I had to drive like, hmm, almost an hour every day, like in Dallas traffic. So I was late all the time. That was really no excuse. I'm just late in general, but <laughs> like it was in Dallas traffic. So you can imagine coming from I-35, ridiculous. Like it was bad, but it just wasn't a, it was kind of like a toxic environment for me. I graduated and I still lived in the same hometown as my college. So that's why I was having to drive so far to my new job because my lease wasn't up. I wasn't gonna break my lease, but it just is expensive and I didn't have money like that. So I had a roommate also, which is like one of our really good friends. But at that time we were going through it, honey. Like we were beefing hard. We, but anyways, yeah. So there was like drama at home there was, I hated my job, I was driving far every day, and then finally I got, finally I ended up, um, I ended up getting my own place, which I was so excited. Got my apartment. I remember my brother helped me move in, move in. Oh, and I did ask. I asked the lady if I could see my unit before I moved in and she was like, well, it's not ready. I was like, okay, whatever. And then, so yeah, my brother helped me move in, move in and I, you know, initially walking in, everything looked decent. It looked fine. I like, okay, I can work with this. This is just me here. Once I add some decor and, you know, had my touch on it it's gonna be fine like I'm gonna be fine here so huh so <laughs> a couple days later my mom comes up to help me like unpack and just like settle in and you know how moms are moms are gonna like be cleaning and I mean I clean too like anytime I move to a new place like I sanitize the place because you don't know if you don't know who was there before and you don't know like if the apartments really like cleaned it thoroughly so we were doing all that kind of stuff and like I mean she was like deep cleaning you know how moms are she was like deep cleaning the place and so I remember it was like middle of the night so like she's still up late cleaning and stuff and she wakes me up and she's like Savannah come look at this I'm like what she finds in this closet there's like some black stuff okay it looked like black mold I'm pretty sure it was so we find that, we start looking more, we just start seeing more. It's like literally, like walking in and just looking, it looks fine. But when you start looking up close on things, like just getting closer, it's just like, what is this? Literally, y'all, I kid you not. We looked like, we started looking closer at everything, like I said. And so we're looking at the wall and at the top, it's like at the top, of the ceiling kind of closer to the ceiling so you could you really have to like really look hard we see something and my mom ends up like taking a picture and then we zoom in on the picture tell me why there was like three dead baby roaches painted into the wall i started to notice like i was getting sick like every time i walked in the apartment i would get stuffy my throat would kind of like get nasty feeling but it was only when I went into the apartment and so did my mom. My mom was feeling the same way. And you know, we started doing research cause we were like, we have an issue now. Like, and then on top of that, like the parking there was horrible. They like the parking was so bad. Like sometimes residents would have to park across the street, like at the grocery store. I was like, hell no. Like that's ridiculous. I pay all this money to live here and I'm not guaranteed to park. And then one night, like luckily my mom was with me we were walking, um, I had to park far. Oh, and they towed my mom's car. It was just a mess. Like I had to walk far and my mom was with me luckily, like I said, and this guy was just like out there just chilling. Like I don't think he even lived there. And he like asked me something like, hey, you know where I can get a bus ticket at? Something like, I was like, no, what the hell? Like, 
Like, I feel like I got played. Like, the, it, it was just like, I mean, I, you're not gonna know until you live there. And then I, like, there was like kids playing in the parking lot all the time. Like, there was kids having fun, but it was just like a mess. And I was like, you know what? <laughs> this is not for me. And I'm not about to be living my life with roaches and I just, I don't think I can do it. So, so yeah, my, so yeah, I wasn't comfortable with that. And so I actually ended up moving in with one of my really good friends and she let me stay with her. It was supposed to be temporary, but it ended up being like a month. I literally stayed with her for a month. I'd only go home to grab clothes and a lot. And then eventually like my mom was just like, you know what, you know, Savannah, you said, you don't want to live there. You're not going to live there. So like, let's write, we did what we were supposed to do. Like read the lease, did what we were supposed to do. Told them I was leaving, moving out, returned the keys. And then, so basically I didn't have a place to live. Um, and it just, it was like I was, it was like everything, I had done everything I was supposed to do, but everything just was crumbling. Like everything in my life was just going downhill. And I really think sometimes, I don't know, I feel like it was God telling me like, you need to just, you need to stop. I need you to stop. I need you to slow down and I need you to go in the path that you're supposed to go down because this is not it. And I was trying to fight it so hard. Like my mom in the past, even before all this, she was telling me like, you can come home, you know that. You know you're always welcome here. If you need to regroup, if you need to figure things out, because I would complain about my job all the time. And she's like, Savannah, you can come here. Like have a plan, like you're not just gonna come here. And that's not even who I am, like to be a bum person and just live with my parents and just, live off of them, like that's just not who I am. Like I'm very independent. I have been since I got out of high school. No, nope. yeah, like, uh, so I think it was kind of God just guiding me where I'm supposed to be. And he was like, girl, I'm gonna have to like make all this stuff just go wrong for you to just see it. Cause you don't see it right now. So literally that just is what made me move back home. So yes, I am back home and back in my hometown and just really trying to figure out everything. And I have been wanting to do YouTube for so long. Like me and my friend Alexis, Alexis knows, we've been talking about this for years. Cause honestly, when I started working, I would say when I started working at Sephora, that's when I really like, my, my interest in beauty like really peaked. And that's when I was just like, I would love to have a career in beauty doing something, something in beauty, I would love to do it. And so from then on out, I was just like, you know what? YouTube would be a kind of fun thing to do. Like, and also I really like editing things. I like filming, I like talking, I like helping people out. So like, I like makeup, I like beauty, I like all kinds of things. So I'm like, why not? But yeah, I just think God has other plans for me and I don't know exactly what they are, but I'm so much more peaceful. I am learning. I'm really finding out who I am and I'm growing and I've kicked some bad habits. Like I cannot find my powder that I normally use. So I'm just going to use this Maybelline Fit Me Matte and Poreless Foundation in the color 330. It's called Toffee. I really, do, I like this powder to like touch up with or if you want a little bit more coverage, it's cool for that, but I don't really like using it under my under eye. Always loved beauty, okay, but that's where I really found passion in beauty and saw the beauty within beauty, if that makes sense. We'll zoom in a little bit, um, just so you guys can see. So I powdered my face and now I'm gonna do my brows. 
I hate gel my brows because my brows are so weird. They're like both shaped different. But yeah, I'm using the Precisely My Brow Pencil from Benefit and it's in the number four. My Morphe 350 palette in use this shade that I literally don't know what the color is because there's no names. But it's like this brown color. And I basically just use this color. You can almost barely see it. You'll see when I actually do it. But you can like, oh goodness, you can almost just barely see it but I just do it because it kind of contours my eyes and then adds, gives it a little bit of color. So that's what I use it for. And I'll just start on like the outer V of my eye and just kind of go in like little circular motions and then drag it into my crease and just in like a windshield wipe remove motion, just kind of go back and forth. And just take my time and blend it in. And this doesn't have to be perfect either. It's just like, you know, a little touch of color. And also, like I said, it's contouring your eye a little bit, so. Now I'm just gonna contour my face. I'm gonna use the same brush, the Sephora number 
55 brush and I'm gonna use that same that same eyeshadow color I used on my eyelids I'm gonna use as a bronzer so just to warm up the skin Not that I even have a big forehead. I have a big head in general. Not really a big forehead, but I still put it up there a little bit. A little bit under my chin. Make my face look a tiny bit smaller. But it is what it is. Go back through one more time. And that's that. So I'm gonna spray a little bit of Fix Plus on my beauty blender and just go back over that bronzer just so it looks skin-like and it's not that powdery look. And if it's not blended that well, this kind of helps blend the rest of it. I'm going to use this Milani blush. It's a baked blush and it's called Luminoso. I'm going to use that same brush and just tap my brush in it a little bit, not too much. And just go right, kind of right over top that of that um, bronzer. But also kind of on top of it because I want it to kind of blend as one, if that makes sense. I don't really want it to be like a line here, a line there. I want it to kind of just be one. Also do the same thing for my blush with the Beauty Blender. I just blend it in so it looks, I want to get that powdery look. I've really been into cream blushes. I want to get some more cream blushes because they look just so natural. And it's like it looks like a glow from within. And then last, I'm going to use my Becca Shimmering Skin Perfector, um, and it's in the color Rose Gold. I really love this um, highlight for brown skin. It's so pretty. I'm going to go right on the top. So I like to make the little fishy face because it just helps me see where I need places. <laughs> Eyeshadow brush and just highlight the little nose, highlight the inner corner of my eyes to make me look a little bit more fresh and awake underneath the brow bone. And my cupid's bow, move it. And I'm going to use the Beauty Blender to just blend everything out so it's not just product sitting on my face. I hate that. So I just want it to all just kind of be like one. And some Fix Plus. I like the Fix Plus because one, it smells good. And it's like a refresher. Like if you've been putting a lot of powder on, ooh, if you've been putting a lot of powder on, it'll kind of give you less of a that powdery cakey look. And then also if you just used a highlighter, it'll intense the high, it'll give a more intense look for your highlights. Super curly eyelashes. And I don't wear lashes, so it takes a lot of work for me to make my lashes stand out. And I'm using Benefit, Benefit's Their Royal Mascara.
I've outlined my lips with my lip liner and then I just go in with a clear gloss. I don't even know. Oh, this is Rommel London. It's just a clear gloss and I just put it in the middle and rub together to blend it. So this is the final look. So this is my everyday makeup routine. It's super easy, um, very straightforward, nothing complicated. Um, hope you guys enjoyed. If you did, give me a thumbs up. And also, if you want to know how I got this bun, let me know and I'll probably do a video on it. Uh -huh.